Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dead State, Blind. We've got two new survivors at the shelter, we've already talked to Troy and now we're going to talk to uh, Grant over here. Hey, how are you? Anything that would improve your mood? Me? Sometimes I feel like I earned something, I guess. If you're giving it out, I guess I could do with a cigar or some deodorant. Okay. Got some time for uh, questions? Sure. What would you say your skills are? I'm a good judge of character? Guess that one doesn't count for much anymore. I don't know. I guess you could say I adapt. I never had to defend myself from an attacker. Now I can. Didn't know how to identify edible plants from poisonous ones. Now I do. I want to survive and I'll do whatever it takes. You've killed people to survive? When it was necessary for survival, yeah. It used to be that competition meant screwing someone else fro over for a promotion. Maybe you ruined someone's livelihood, bled them dry financially, made their life miserable. It's just more direct competition now, maybe even less cruel. Let's change the topic. Heard anything about what's going on in other areas? Just what I've seen. I've been trying to avoid the riskiest areas. Cities, supermarkets, hospitals and the highways. Nobody has power. Haven't heard many vehicles. I've been around enough to realize it's not going to end anytime soon. Hmm. What would make this place better for you? A gym could help let us blow off some stress, keep fit, but mostly I want to know that everybody's doing their fair share. That we're building to do uh, something, not just putting people under a roof and calling it civilization. I don't know if that makes any sense. Can you elaborate? Hmm. You know how you can feed someone a fish or teach them to fish so that they can feed themselves? Well, I want to make sure that people here learn how to survive rather than just keep them alive. If there's anything I can't stand, it's unchecked sympathy. I see. I want to hear more about how you survived before you got here. What's to tell? I stopped thinking about what life was like and what it's like now. Everybody, Every time I see one of those walking corpses, I just think. There goes someone who didn't try hard enough. Okay. <clears throat> right, so what is the time, actually? We need to check if we can go on another quick run. Uh, the shadows, uh, they don't look too bad at the moment. Seems like it's about 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Oh, I've already done that. Okay. So let's go and check if we can uh, go for another quick run. <clears throat> right. Bing. Yeah, it's three. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess I could try to go to that rest stop and finish it off. It's not that far away. Ghost Town. Fresh tracks in the dirt. Well, let's try then. It's an encounter, which is usually never good, but hey, it's on the way, you know. We may get something else here. I don't know. We'll see. No, it's this same town as usual. Um, yeah. I already see some looters there, I think. What the hell? Oh, yeah, it's this exact same encounter that we've had three or four, or maybe even more times now. <clears throat> it's the two, uh, yeah, coyote groups that are attacking each other for some reason. Stay dead, freaks. Oh, fuckers, not freaks. Well, I'm pretty sure that Metal Canyon can go and uh, take them out single-handedly. With his armor and everything, but uh, for now, we're gonna play it nice. And wait. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> go, Metal Canyon, go! There they are. Well, that zombie wants to play with us, apparently, so that's fine. Yeah, shoot each other. Out in the open, don't try to hide. You know, for for a pistol, it really does very little damage. 11 points of damage. <laughs> there we go. And smash the zombie. There we go. Anything on him? No. Let's go for the others. Oh, that one's bleeding out. There we go. So there's just one person to deal with. Excellent. 
<laughs> They're bleeding. Go, go, go. Rock and roll. Alright, Metal Canyon, go. It's not like he can hurt you at all. Oh, he's got a sledgehammer now. But only did that. Didn't uh, try to approach us or anything. I hate that the camera keeps popping to the character that you have selected. Very annoying. Let's finish this one off. Hello. Oh, come closer. Uh, you can finish that one off. Take everything. Thank you. They have a lot of stuff here. All right. Now you're in trouble. Come on. I'm all dizzy. It's not too bad. Ow. Zero points of damage. <laughs> and we counterattack. Knock him down and make him dizzy again. Finish this one off. That's that. And now you're in tr great trouble. Eleven. Seven. Yeah, they've got a lot of armor. But hey, you did knock him down. There we go. My head. It's exploded. It's not there anymore. Actually, wait. Someone else should take this stuff. Man, that's a lot of stuff that's heavy. <laughs> but we don't have that much to loot. Um... There it's the uh, the place we're going to, so it's, I guess it's not too bad. Nothing to loot over here. Okay. So, I guess you could pretend these are the remnants of the Coyote Gang, even though the game doesn't really care about that. I'm guessing it's just a random encounter. All right, let's finish off this place and then come back. Overburdened, overburdened inventory? Simply right-click on a party member until the backpack icon appears, then left-click to access the party trade menu. Share the burden. Alright. So we have two more buildings to loot over here. This one, Taco the Town, and the other one over here. Friggin' chicken, apparently. Where's the... Where's everyone? What the Why the hell are they so far behind? Bloody. Five points of damage, actually. That's interesting, despite the fact that we have the uh, football armor. Hmm. Well, it's dead anyway. Oh, God. Come on. Uh, there's a table we can loot. Tuna. To make room for the tuna. Bang. And another bang. Excellent. Lots of damage with that. You know, I'm so happy the electric baton does not have charges. Because it's such an amazing weapon. I do believe that zombie will hear us, but I'm going to wait here. Yeah, it did hear us. Okay. That's fine. Is it not coming for me? Um. Yeah, you, you can do that all you like, you know, zombie. We're not impressed. That's right. <laughs> okay. Give me good stuff. Somebody else should be looting. There's a prep table. Kitchen drawers. Any zombies in here? Not for the moment. And that's about it. Did we already loot this one? Yes. Alright, so let's see the friggin' chicken. Oh, there's a table here. Completely empty, but apparently we can loot some stuff off it. Uh, we haven't looted this thing yet. So let's do so now. Oh, I don't want that. The dead rat. But we do have stuff in here. That we have yet to loot. Oh yeah, those dogs are in there. Man, those poor dogs are gonna get it. Come on, doggies. Poor doggies. 
Vicious dog. Ow. Come on. Oh, come on. It's 70 bloody five. Interesting. It's not dead yet. Well, nobody else needs to move because... Oh, it's panicking. Interesting. Never seen that before. I mean, not on a dog. Zero points of damage, zero points of damage, and then I smash it back. And the the dogs the dogs attacks look so lethargic. It's like, mm, mm. there we go. Poor dog. Whoa! One. Poor doggies. But hey, they're vicious attack dogs. Nothing I could have. Oh, zombie! I want to attack quickly. Take it out. The dead looter is almost dead. There we go. <clears throat> oh, we've pretty much uh, looted this place. I did loot the one this, right? And the vicious dogs don't really have anything. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. So that's that. There's something else over here in this little building, though. If I remember correctly, right? No, I've already looted that, but I haven't looted anything. Well, not everything from the duffel bag. Oh. I have to go all the way around. Brilliant. Where the... Where the hell is the exit? There it is. <clears throat> Roar! T-Rexico. Gas and gulp. <laughs> it's got the uh, pump on the tail. It's quite funny. What does this say? Public restrooms, public parking, unleaded diesel. I still don't understand why people, you know, why it's still called unleaded. It's not like you're gonna get leaded fuel anymore. Not for decades now. Right. Um, five in the afternoon. I think it's about time to go back. I'm just gonna see if there's anything here. No. Right, let's go back. Ooh, ooh, ugh. Apple trees. Yeah, fine, why not? Start harvesting. What's this place? It's already, uh, almost eight. Yeah, we gotta go. Thirteen collected. That's not too bad. Parking lot shootout. Hmm. Well, it's gonna wait for us. They're gonna shoot each other for days <laughs> we're gonna go there the next day if you can't remember the specifics of a, of a particular system don't panic just check the manual it should be right in your install drive or maybe you know you could give tips in the game that would be amazing right uh didn't get much here of course but hey this was the second run so that's good Let's get rid of the stuff. People are, people are still guarding. Uh, right. Oops, oops, oops. Max. And Nathan. And Regina, I don't think, actually looted anything. No. Alright. Maybe we'll have some crises again or something. I don't know. Something interesting needs to happen. Let's go to the bed. Yes, go to sleep. Alright, let's see. We got uh, 137 preserved food and 38 fresh food. That's a lot. <clears throat> we are eating 73 per day, but still, that's pretty damn good. Uh, 216 morale change. Wow, over 2,000 now. That's pretty crazy. And loads of fuel. Very nice. Hey, i uh, been thinking about how to tackle one of these locations I saw on the road. Got a couple of minutes? Sure, what is it? The place is a tiny apartment complex over in Copperas Cove. I heard about it from a friend of a friend. There were a few families that knew the worst was coming, so they decided to stock up and fortify this building together. I made my way over there a few weeks after the power went out for good. It was worth a shot. I got as far in as one of the units in the back, from the window. There was plenty there, because no one's eating it. They're dead? 
Apparently. The smell hit me first. I hadn't noticed the door were wide open to the apartment. I barely got out of there. They're packed into the complex. It's like a mausoleum, except noisier. I thought about opening the front gate and trying to get them to leave, but they welded them shut. They locked themselves in and then someone screwed up somehow. Their loss, our benefit. Hmm. Good call. I'll form a team and head out there soon. I know the area, so if you need me along, I'm more than willing to come with you. Let me know when you're going. Hmm. I was looking at a map of the area this morning and I realized I've been here before. For a couple of weeks during my first year in the army, there's a military base in Brownwood. Not a big one, but it was big enough. There could be soldiers still there, or at least supplies. If it's fallen, well, I don't have to tell you what to expect. I don't know if we can handle that. There could be dozens of corpses or soldiers who think we're threats. Sounds good. I'll add it to the list of potential scavenging sites. Good. Let's not wait too long to hit it. It can't be... I can't be the only one who knows about it. And the last thing we want is someone getting a hold of military-grade equipment and using it on us. It's my suggestion. Say the word and I'll back you up on that one. Ugh, uh, hoping I'd see you around this morning. Took a look around at uh, the school and I thought I'd offer my, my criticisms and ideas based on my expertise. Let's hear it. Right then. Well, let's see. I'll walk the perimeter first. Y'all got a good fence out there. Not leaving a gap for those smelly bastards in is the most important thing for protecting your land. I saw you got a chicken coop. That's good. Eggs are a pretty cheap source of protein. And you put some hot sauce on there. You got breakfast? Saw the garden bins up on the roof. That's smart. Grow yourself some chili fixins, beans, um... Well, chili fixings. Beans, peppers, tomatoes, chilies. Any Mexican here will know how to take care of all that. That's it, I think. Oh, one thing I could do for y'all is uh, get your mushroom patch going. It's a bit advanced, seeing as how bad mushrooms can kill you and all, but I know what I'm doing. We already have that. Learned my lesson when I was gathering up wild mushrooms and ate one of the magic ones. After I got better, I learned from my uncle the proper way to grow and identify them. Mushrooms? Yuck. <laughs> Mushroom patch? Yeah, that sounds like a good and tasty idea. Okay then, you get me the materials, I'll put one in the basement. As long as you know what you're doing. Nothing dangerous about it. Thanks, Troy, we'll talk about it some more later. Cough, I cough, I cough. Damn it, I've got this goddamn tickle in my throat that I can't shake. Think I'm going to have to sit this one out. Agro lights a cigarette and takes a drag. Can't give you a day off, there's too much to do and not enough people to do it. Take the day off, we'll manage. I really needed your help today, but take a day to recover. I know it's going to be tough, but I especially need your talents today. Which is a lie. Seriously? Okay, I'll try, man. That girl walks off, coughing the whole way. <laughs> yeah, the, it seems like you can just avoid anyone going on sick day with negotiation, which is kind of a weird thing. But wait a second, we already have the mushroom patch, don't we? Uh, and Anita seems to be in the floor. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is he? Troy, self defense training. Yeah, we do have the, uh, where is it? Mushroom patch. We have it. <laughs> so, hmm. Still this bloody science lab. Science. Damn, the dogs have no science. <laughs> well, there's science 10 and mechanical 2, which is not enough because we need mechanical 3. I really need to uh, look into how to do that. I hate the fact that he can't uh, science 7 medical 10. I hate the fact that he can't uh, go up and down with arrow keys. You know, because that would make too much sense. He's got 6 medical. Is he a medical student? I guess. Uh, science 4. Mechanical. Of course, that's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> Shite. Efficiency upgrade, blah 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 blah. Alright, never mind then. 
we're gonna go and loot we've got more stuff to loot out there and we're gonna do it in the next part thank you for watching and i'll see you then bye bye